A lot of my friends and juniors worry about not being able to cover vast amount of information over a limited duration. I have never been an avid reader myself but over the past 5 years I have found my rhythm to get through medical textbooks with speeds I would consider above average. I haven't perfected it yet to call it an art form but still it is nonetheless effective. So in this video I am going to be giving you all some of my tips to improve upon your reading speeds to get through numerous medical research papers and medical textbooks to give you an edge during medical school. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Mohit Saravna Pirumal. I'm a final year medical student here in the Far Eastern Federal University and let's get started. So the first step is to understand the concepts before you start with the theoretical work. Most of us when we start with a new concept tend to directly jump into textbooks for information. But if you're not even sure what the baseline of the concept is, the frustration which comes with not being able to understand the concept in the first go tends to tire you out really quick. So here are some of the things I do before I start with a new concept. Number one, this might sound simple, but it is actually really effective. Watch YouTube videos. There are actually a lot of resources online in the form of text as well as videos to explain you the concept in simple terms. This will actually shorten the amount of time you will actually spend researching about the concepts later if you don't actually know the basics about the concept. So the next step is to read the lectures from your professors. These presentations usually give away key points that are honestly brief summaries of what all your textbook has to offer. And the next step is actually my second recommendation. Strengthen your basis before reaching complexities. For example, in case of anatomy, go through the atlas before you actually go through the textbook. When I started studying pathology, before I even started with an organ system, I would actually make sure that I knew how the organ system performed when it was actually healthy before getting to the pathological process. So I usually start with the anatomy and physiology of the organ before I got to the pathological texts. This initially might seem like you are wasting a lot of time, but in the long run with enough practice and tweaking of your own techniques you would be actually doing it like a pro in no time. It will actually save you a lot of time later when you fly through the concepts with ease. This technique not just applies for the basic subjects like anatomy, physiology and pathology but also for specialized subjects such as internal medicine and surgery. This also helps you with the memory and revising all the concepts that you have learned before. So again strengthen your basis before you go through complexities. Up next don't force yourself to understand a concept. In medical textbooks it is actually pretty common to find yourself stuck to a line cause it doesn't make sense when you first read it and because of this you might have spent hours and hours together searching in the internet going through textbooks only to find that the next two lines following the line which made you confused actually had the answers in them but at that point of time you might have actually wasted 40 to 50 minutes of your precious time you might have spent on something else. I have been a victim of this situation for god knows how many times. I would actually get stuck in a line, spend about 40-50 minutes going through the internet, searching for concepts and in the end understanding the concepts, coming back to the book, reading the next two lines, get frustrated, close the book and get on with my life. So again, if you find yourself in such a situation, please make sure that you read the next two lines following that. You might actually get an idea of what that line actually wanted to convey in the first place. Medical textbooks are weird man. So the last recommendation is something that I have been following for the past one to one and a half years and it has actually helped me get through a lot of medical textbooks and actually a lot of non-medical textbooks as well. So the secret is actually to listen to your textbooks along with reading them. There is actually a numerous selection of text to speech converters available online. I know, I know, this tip only works if you study online or if you have a PDF version of your textbook, but I think most of the textbooks that we actually read on a daily basis are available in their online and PDF versions. So even if you are learning in an offline physical textbook, you can actually download the online version of those textbooks put it inside a text to speech converter, listen to them while you are actually reading the book. The audio visual correlation will actually help you understand the text better and will actually help you with the memory of the concept in the long run. The main advantage of actually studying with the text to speech converter is that you can actually increase the speed of your listening with time. So it has actually helped me get through a lot of books quite a lot quicker if compared to my normal reading speeds. So that is it. These are all my recommendations for you to improve upon your reading speeds. If you happen to take upon any of these recommendations into your study schedule, please let me know how these have improved upon uh, your techniques or your speed of reading. And if you have any other techniques that you would like to recommend me, uh, I would love to try out any of those. Please make sure that 
you comment those down below your recommendations as well leave a like down below if you actually found this information to be useful and i will catch you guys in the next video really soon take care bye bye